is a maintenance day. This patio box cover, that's not really a cover. We just found a piece of plywood and just used it as a cover. Um, it's starting to mold. First on the agenda is to sand down the mold and then we're gonna finish it properly. Something we should have done a long time ago. Thing on the agenda is to sand these benches. As you can see, sun damage, completely been faded, Leo's toy. Yeah, it's not even, this is supposed to be redwood. The thing I'm most excited to do is we bought an avocado tree from Lowe's. David is gonna help me make a wooden planter box for it. And then I will be able to use the compost from over there and use it to fertilize this avocado tree, which has been a goal of mine to be able to use my composting fertilizer to actually fertilize something. So I have been accumulating quite a lot of compost. It's gonna be a bunch of flies that come out. Yup, gross. Quite a lot of compost. a big difference. The right bench was the one that was always in direct sunlight and then the left one was the indirect sunlight one. But if you look up close, lots of sun damage on both of them. So I'm going to try to buff this away and then we'll finish it and see how it looks then. Sanding later, we get this beautiful, look at that green. So pretty. There's almost like a sparkle to it in certain angles. How
Welcome to day two of projects. New things on the agenda today, but we had not completed them. So today we're planning to do a routered edge to make it nice. Wow! The plywood wanted to appear in today's video to make it rounded. So it's just <laughs> easier comfort in holding, but also looks nice too. So we have this one and this one. have been added in and David's gonna do the tree test do a little wind strong winds now strong winds hail <laughs> <laughs> Wow so now we just need to finish the inside right yep okay the outside. I'm gonna add one of these screens that we did to repair our window screens Next thing on the agenda, the rain demolished this planter because I had it right over there and the drop off from the roof went there so some of my plants suffered for, for that. So I'm going to add more soil to the planter and actually have to fix up this too because I did a super crappy job. So I just took all the plants out that were still doing in good condition. Here are the leaves that I can still salvage and make baby succulents out of. And then these ones are just, they didn't survive the rainstorm. So I'm gonna throw this in the compost. for the planter and I finished it with a coat of polyurethane it looks so luxe oh the tree is so cute Sure, you're always checking if the wood is warped. Oh man, this is a smiley face. <laughs> Whoa, this is like twisted too. Okay, I think we can just stick with the two we chose. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Want to compare it to one that's not there? Yeah. Is this the twisty one? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, oh that's my the gosh. difference. Oh my gosh, that looks so bad. Our last project of the weekend. Just kidding. We're gonna prep ourselves this weekend to do this project next weekend. Mm -hmm. 